in honoring god we must give god that which is due his name are you still with me one of the things that is due to god is fighting many might argue that the tithe is no longer applicable to the new testament believer and that is because of lack of knowledge we have two priesthoods in the bible one is the levitical priesthood and the other is the melchizedek priesthood in the days of abraham abraham paid tithe are you you know he paid tithe and it was he paid it to melchizedek that was the first priesthood that actually manifested so melchizedek accepts tithe um do you still remember that jacob made a promise to god that if god should support him protect him and bring him back again he will give god a tenth of all he has and jacob and abraham existed before the law came into existence it was the melchizedek priesthood that they operated and they gave tithe in the levitical priesthood the system through which tithe can be received is established in that priesthood but the concept of tithing existed way before that priesthood was established and by the time you go to the book of hebrews you will see that we are operating under the auspices of the melchizedek priesthood and the melchizedek priesthood took tithe in the days of abraham he will take tithes now and he will still take tithes in the world that is to come because that's the shape and the nature of his priesthood so one of the things that we do in order to, to honor god is to give him his due i did a teaching on this and i mentioned all the dues of god just like you pay nepa bill you pay tax that's your due as a nigerian are you there so in the kingdom of god there are also things that are due god that will come from your life the least among them is your tithe and by the time you come into the new testament you give god more than tithe the old testament the requirements was tithing the new testament the requirement is consecration so what you have and what you are is his but you see god will not take what is his and the way for you to practice consecration is to begin from tithing first and after tithing you will now have a sense of responsibility that there are actually things that come to god then god can now come and say resign i want to use you as a minister behind the pulpit stop the work you are doing you cannot obey that voice if you have not been obeying in tithing tithing is like the ordinary level requirement so the bible says in in malachi chapter 3 verse 10 he said bring you all the tithes and you know i said it's the principle of honor that is revealed here into my storehouse that there might be meat in my house and prove me now here with say the lord if i will not open the windows of heaven uh, and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it and i will rebuke the devourer for your six i will rebuke the devourer for your six so when you give god his due as you begin to press during this this fasting and prayer there are some deals that god will ask you give me this one of the things you will enjoy by complying is that god now takes the responsibility to rebuke the devourer for your sake can we pray tonight